segment, we will learn how to switch back and forth between present and edit views, and also learn how to upload a web link and a YouTube video. So let's take a look. This is where we left off last time. I'm going to use the left arrow key to go back to the edit mode. And this is what you see on the very upper, um, towards the right, you see this little pen tool. Um, so you will click on that anytime you want to get back to the edit mode. So I will do just that. And you see the familiar site where we're creating the tabs and editing them and uh, entering information. So now let's go ahead and enter a new tab to our um, or sub tab to our chapter one title. So let's click on add a sub tab. And I don't like the position of this. I was in the wrong place. So let me show you how you can easily move it. Move sub tab to the right and I'm going to move it again to put it in the right place. I want it to be the fourth link here. And click in the sub tab to enter the title. This is going to be entering a YouTube video. As a matter of fact, I will backtrack just a moment before the YouTube video. Let me enter another sub tab and this one is going to be entering a web link. Okay, starting with the web link and if you click anywhere else you can more clearly see what it is that you wrote in that uh, sub tab title. If you are having any trouble seeing that or in a changing the name of a tab, you can also click on it and then you can click on tab settings and right there is also going to give you a chance to change the title of that tab. Okay, right now I want to enter a web link and the link I want them to visit is, I'm going to paste this, control V, insert is all you have to do and the website appears right on the same page underneath as you can see so whatever link it is you entered up there automatically shows up within your tab now unfortunately some websites are very picky and they don't allow for uh, people to view it within sites like LiveBinder they want you to go to their own site so for example for the YouTube video the first thing I'm going to do is find a video to find it, you can either go to the YouTube site do your search there or click on add a content add content add other content because YouTube is one of them click on YouTube video type the search for word DNA and click on find so as you can see a lot of videos showed up and um, here I'm going to select one of those and just say insert and close this window. Notice how it's inserted because YouTube doesn't allow the uh, viewers to see this video in this uh, tab or not easily at least. We have to do a workaround that. So let me also show you how the workaround is. So click on plus to add a sub tab and this time we're going to embed the YouTube video. So we have to find the video outside of the live binders. So I'm going to uh, click on DNA. I'm sorry, first go to YouTube. Then do your search about DNA. And once we find the video that we want, we'll click on it. Notice I want to get the embed code. So I will. It's go just beautiful, isn't it? It's it's just it's it's mesmerizing. It's it's double helix sighting. You really can tell just by looking at it how sort of important and amazing it is. It's I will right click, copy, go back to live binders, and then we need to paste the embed code in there. That is a little bit work. Let me show you. Click on the top. To add content. Then you have to scroll down, set text layout. You have to select one that has text in it. So I'm going to select one of those at the end and then close this. When you click on the text box, it gives you some choices. Go ahead and click on the yellow triangle. It gives you an option to enter HTML. In the HTML, find where it says click 
to add text, right there you want to paste your code and update. There it goes, the video has been embedded to our document. Now let's see what everything looks like. Go to View, Present with the Side Tabs. Okay, everything's under Chapter 1. Let's go to look at our first YouTube video. Notice you'll have to click on it and it takes you to an external tab and that's fine you, you know students will watch it there they'll have to then close it and come back but the other option embed gives you the video right there and when the students click on it it's just beautiful isn't it they'll be able it's, to view it's it's just right it's, it's mesmerizing it's it's without leaving your uh, website